Understanding androgenetic alopecia requires a deep dive into the molecular mechanisms at play. A significant factor in male pattern baldness is dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, an androgen that has a potent affinity for the androgen receptor. A significant culprit behind male pattern baldness is dihydrotestosterone, DHT, like I mentioned before, an androgen that strongly binds to the androgen receptor. DHT is the most potent natural androgen. When DHT binds to these receptors in hair follicles, it can induce follicular miniaturization, leading to hair thinning and eventual loss. The process is as follows. Testosterone, the primary male sex hormone circulating in the bloodstream, is converted into DHT by the enzyme 5-alpha reductase. Now, there are three versions of this 5-alpha reductase enzyme, but bottom line is, this enzyme is responsible for converting any sort of free testosterone that's in the body into DHT. Hair follicles have androgen receptors in their cells. DHT has a higher affinity for these receptors than testosterone does. When DHT binds to these receptors, it forms a DHT receptor complex. Once the DHT is bound to the androgen receptor, this complex moves into the cell nucleus. Inside of the cell nucleus, the DHT receptor complex interacts with DNA and influences the transcription of specific genes. In the context of androgenetic alopecia, this leads to changes in the proteins produced by the hair follicles. The genetic changes brought by the DHT receptor complex interaction with DNA can shorten the antigen or growth phase of the hair follicle and lengthen the telogen resting phase instead. Over time, this results in a miniaturization process of the hair follicle, which produces progressively thinner and shorter hairs. The affected hair follicles shrink over time due to the shortened and prolonged resting phase. This results in the production of vellus hairs, or short, soft, unpigmented hairs, instead of terminal hairs, long, strong, and pigmented hairs. Eventually, after several cycles of miniaturization, the hair follicles may cease to produce any hair, leading to balding areas. And that fucking sucks.